Many thanks to the Wide World of Trains channel for the video. I have long wanted to demonstrate how cars get stuck on railway tracks. Semi truck stuck on train tracks with train coming. You won't believe this one. The train as a whole in this action packed video about a train shot in and around Dan Kirk, New York. Hey truck drivers, if this happens to you, don't try to fix it first thing. Call it in immediately. You never know when a train is due. They were lucky here as there was a good line of sight. That's not always the case. Every crossing controlled or not has an emergency telephone number posted on a small blue sign. Use it. These lowboy trailers have a small gas or diesel motor in the neck, the part that sits above the truck's rear tires, that powers a set of hydraulic rams that allows the trailer neck to disconnect from the low-slung flat section so the cargo can be easily driven on or off without having to climb up over the trailer's tires at the rear. These rams also adjust the ride height of the nose of the trailer. The pickup seems to be attempting to jump start that small motor so the truck driver can then lift the trailer nose to get more ground clearance and hopefully be able to get himself unstuck from the tracks. For at least 40 years Swedish Trucks has used the truck's hydraulic pump, the one that of course should be standard on every truck that pulls a trailer like this. And second why didn't he lifted the truck in the rear with the air suspension? Didn't he had that extremely common feature either? And third why didn't he lock all the diff locks on both drive axles? Didn't he had that feature either? Well then this had to be the most useless truck ever for this job. The main thing is that they were not injured and they were able to remove the equipment from the railway crossing. 